Okay, here we go. I think we're good to start filling it. What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Today we're gonna find out if a fidget spinner can literally walk on water. So the goal is to use compressed air, get it spinning super fast, and then see if it can literally like step across the water and have enough spinning momentum to maintain its weight as it goes across. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. Buddy. That is so fast. I'll slow it down before I stop it. I don't wanna hurt myself. Now I know a lot of you meme lords out there want me to do actual calculations on how fast these fidget spinners are actually going. So let's find out. In three, two, one. Two, one. Oh, so we slowed the phantom camera down and counted exactly how many frames it took to do a full rotation to calculate the miles per hour. First take the total number of frames, divide that by the frames per second. That gives you a total number of rotations per second. Multiply that times 60 to get your rotations per minute. And then multiply that again by 60 to get your rotations per hour. Then you get your distance per rotation by multiplying the diameter of the fidget spinner times pi, and that'll give you your distance per rotation. Take your distance per rotation times your number of rotations per hour, and then bam, you got your miles per hour, baby. Considering how tiny these little objects are, that's ridiculous. To put that in perspective, if you take the average size of a semi-truck tire and multiply that in the same equation, it comes out to approximately 902 miles per hour. Now that we got that out of the way, let's find out if a fidget spinner can actually walk on water. Woo! Here we go, attempt number two. Up, closer, more up. All right, so let's take a look at the phantom clip. You can really see that water rippling from the compressed air. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so it different. just dropped. Yeah, this stuff is just gonna cut straight through that water. We almost need like a flat one mm -hmm. that'll like catch more water, like a flat edge. We've got a bunch of fidget spinners, so we got lots of them we can try. It just dives and barrels right down into the water. So we're gonna try this one next. This one is an all aluminum shell, so it's super light. It's not heavy at all. And it's got, I feel like it's got a better bearing inside, I think, because it just, it's just well balanced and super fast. This is like a $25 fidget spinner. The other one was like a $5 fidget spinner. So my prediction with this is that it's probably still going to cut into the water because it's still not, I think you would probably need to go almost twice that wide for like something of this size, size and weight for it to actually grip. Well, the, another thing is when those lizards go running across the water, right, they're already running super fast and then they hit the water and they're just barely tapping it. You know what I mean? So maybe if we do like a sweeping motion and give it some forward momentum, it'll have enough momentum going forward already. It doesn't have to create that momentum. So after experiencing the power of that air compressor, oh decide some safety goggles were in order. That is so crazy fast. It's totally cracked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it is so hard to throw it at an angle where it's got like horizontal lateral momentum. Uh, so Jordan, my neighbor here, was kind enough to provide some Gorilla Tape to help bandage up the pool. It's not leaking anymore. Hooray! Oh, it totally did it! It was like 10 little skips across the water. Zoom, 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 zoom. And then there, it tips the water, tips the water. Oh man, that's beautiful. We just gotta get it to land inside the frame. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! 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 Woo! Oh, dang! That's amazing! 
It's like coming out of the water 100%. It went like down into the water, popped back up above the water, and just keeps on going. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. That was so cool. Water contact. Hit, 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 hit. And now it starts going back up and out. Oh, that's so cool! You can hear it. This bearing is starting to wear out. Okay, here we go. We're trying to get the perfect shot of it walking on water. Check this out. It stayed straight up and down. Look at that. So we're taking a look at the Phantom now. Ching 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 ching. What? That looks so sick. It is just a little bit out of frame though. Okay. That was a great one. Holy crap. Take a look at the Phantom. There's the fidget spinner coming into the frame and. Oh, That is so amazing. Oh, that's a thumbnail shot right there, holy crap. In case you missed it, go check out the 1,000 mile an hour fidget spinner versus Galaxy S8 Infinity Display video, link down below. Also, I'm giving away a Galaxy S8 Plus and a custom gaming desktop. So, little buddy, you did great. You can tell it's Strug Strug City for this guy, though. <laughs> Just grinds to a halt. Well, it turned out exactly as I envisioned it. Oh, and it was glorious. This poor fidget spinner. I'm really impressed this thing held together. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. The whole point of this is to have fun. The whole point of all my videos is to have fun. If you want to watch some more fun videos, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you next time. Brandon, out. That was pretty good. Yeah. I think so. Yeah.